We are not scared of Ghana. I, I'm sure everybody, all the players, every player we have <laughs> is good enough to go. It's good enough to beat Ghana. But then the Ghana, all the Ghana girls also went on rampage. So when both sides collide, we are going to, you know, we are going to see that, you know, which team will come up in our, our, our tops. But I think something, something should be assured here that any of the team, you know, uh, either Nigeria or Ghana, that gets to, you know, pick that, that ticket to represent uh, uh, Africa, I, I do believe, yes, at that level, at that level, that they will do well. They will definitely do well. Uh, uh, the girls are gelling, the girls are good. But like we say, it is not about the winning at this stage. Uh, um, it is a profession that they have chosen. You know, how good will, you know, how good or how far will they go in this? That is exactly what matters. How far will they go? They will they move on from Flamingos to go over to the Falcons and become the Falcons and then maybe get, you know, uh, uh, teams, you know, the best teams in the world. I'm not going to say going abroad because we have teams in Nigeria, but the best teams in the world where they can say, this is where I want, I want to play football as a profession. And then uh, I'm good enough to get the best, you know, out of it. And be, I'm good enough, you know, uh, uh, to make a career out of football, that is what that is what it's all about. Uh, uh, you're welcome to the show. Uh, I'm, I'm Ken Ochenogo, and I tell you, it has been uh, a Corona, a Corona sports year. Uh, we don't we don't know how to go, where to go, what to say, uh, because. This is more than uh, uh, just a virus. This is more than just, uh, uh, how do I say, an outbreak that you say, okay, probably you know when it is going to end or how you are going to contain it. Though uh, it is being contained from, uh, from Wuhan, where, where, the, where the initial or the, the first ever uh, outbreak occurred. But the way it is going right now, it is not, it is not, uh, 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 it is not China, it is not South Korea, it is not, it's not even Japan. Europe is now the epicenter of this. And that is why everything, everything concerning sport, not just sport, entertainment, or gathering of individuals, in, in most cities, you, they, they want to see people, uh, more than 200 or 150 persons come together at a point in time, which means that you know, we're talking about concerts, we're talking about uh, uh, Plays. We're talking about, you know, of course, football matches with our own. We're talking about boxing events. We're talking about, you know, arenas. We are talking about, you know, any even even uh, uh, let us even say, you know, musicians who are out there going to, going on tour and having, you know, bands to play before before fans. Everybody right now is on lockdown. The few matches that were played, you know, uh, before now. Since last week, we are just some of them were played. Majority of them were played indoors without fans. Champions League without fans, you know, uh, uh, EAPA without fans, La Liga without fans. And I tell you, the fans are at home. Watch empty stadium. Funny enough, I watched uh, 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 WWE, and I tell you, without fans, my God, <laughs> without fans, you don't look as if these guys are just comedians. I mean, because you can't get. I think you see the the, the one you say. This, in football, they said the fans are you know, the, the 12th, the 12th member of the team. I think now we understand what that means. But it has gone to that particular stage where people are scared. But then uh, the good news about it is at least most persons who have tested positive have even been, so have even been cured. I mean, they've been reverted to negative, which means it is not a life sentence, a, a, a death sentence on anybody. If, 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 you know, if, you test, if you test negative and then you come out and they say, this is what happens. No, it is not a death sentence. It is curable, it is reversible. But then uh, uh, we are looking about the demography. How old are you? Yeah, you know, uh, do you have you know, uh, an existing ailment that you know, has to do with your immunity? How your immune system is working? How strong is it? You know, uh, I, I find myself you know, chewing bitter cola. <laughs> God damn me. <laughs> I just have to survive. But then that is that. I'm not recommending anything for anybody here. I'm only saying you know, somewhere along the line, uh, uh, we here, it, uh, uh, for once, it has not been uh, as it used to be. You know, Ebola, Lhasa, all that is break out of Africa, and Africa was the epicenter Africa was where everybody was you know trying to you know to solve it and then this one is coming from abroad because most persons who have actually tested negative within the continent are those who came in, not those who were in, you know, kind of infected or some who came in contact with those who were already there. So it is those who came into the continent carrying the virus with them are those who have been tested, you know, uh, and then, but then the death uh, 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 rate in Nigeria, we are yet to see anybody has died of, that, of, the, of, of the virus. So. We are going to talk about, we are looking to look at its impact on sport. Uh, uh, it, it's a pity that, you know, it's, that is what we're talking about and, uh, 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 this week. But then let us, let us uh, uh, start and look at what is going to look like. Um, we'll come to you, we'll come to you, be part of this show today, you're part of this show today. Uh, uh, so, because a lot of things are at stake. Um, 
We will look at actually how many, uh, 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 which of the sports that has been affected by the coronavirus. We're going to look at it. We're going to look at, you know, uh, Armenia events and how, you know, it's, it's, it's going to affect us. And I know some of us believe here that uh, a sport is synonymous with football. It is not. Because... Uh, from what we are looking out here, apart from football, basketball, Formula One, tennis, athletics, you know, they are all, all right. Okay, uh, okay, let's go somewhere because I have not introduced this, but then, uh, you know, last week we lost a player in the MPFL and then uh, I will be trying to see what can be done. But in line with this and other issues I want to discuss, we have the president of our National Association of Nigerian Professional Footballers, NAV, uh, uh, Tijani uh, Babangira Mitul, we have him online. Hello, TJ. Hello, Ken, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, 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 it's a pity job, maybe probably we'll just have to start with this. Um, the, 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 the death of uh, 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 Chairman Martins that occurred uh, uh, last week, the, the Nasara, Nasara United player when they, when, when they, uh, uh, the locked on against, uh, against uh, uh, Kassina United. Uh, uh, what is, uh, uh, how, how did the union you know, take this news and what is being done about it? Let's start from there. Well, uh, the moment we heard about the death of uh, one of our players, um, we took some of our members and ordered them immediately to go to Nasarawa State where the uh, commerce with them and talk with the coaches and, of course, the chairman and the FE chairman all together. And from there, we show our support and, of course, uh, not happy with uh, what happened in that day in the stadium, I mean, about the about the helping of the, the players. Okay, uh, 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 the beauty about it is that you played professional football, you know, very well in Europe. Uh, uh, I, I, I remember you playing for, you know, uh, you played for Roda, you played for Ajax. Uh, I remember, the, the, you know, uh, uh, the game between Ajax and Roda where you scored and uh, uh, you, yourself and uh, Finetti George both scored there. But that is, the, the one what I want to look at is this. How, how, uh, uh, from what is being practiced there uh, uh, with the players in terms of, you know, uh, health, uh, health facilities that you have and what we have here, what do you do, what, what, is, what, 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 what did you notice? What did you notice that? That is being that, that, that as at when you played football, the standard there and the standard that we have here. Well, you see, normally when you are signing a contract, any player in the world has to go on medical test. And in this medical test, you can find out that some players are not even they don't even get a contract. Maybe they don't even pass the medical because maybe they will check your heart. Your heart is not uh, beating very well, which they will not uh, sign you. The doctors will give a sign. And at least you have to go for a medical checkup and, and really, and they will not sign you. But uh, but uh, you find out that uh, maybe in our country here, sometime uh, all this has happened. I was one time also a chairman of a club, and what they do mostly, they they they, they overlook something sometimes, just uh, writing or maybe allowing players that are not even healthy enough. Uh, to be in the league because maybe those players are good. Uh, we just have to be very serious in all these things because in Europe, the moment they find out that health, health wise, you are not strong, maybe in your heart, they will not sign you a contract. And also, uh, uh, you find out that also in a match day, a venue of the match, you find that there are a lot of medical health there, personnel, and you have good ambulance, you have doctors there, you have a physiotherapy there, all they, will, they are all trained. And really what I understand is LMC also uh, have their own because every season before the season starts, uh, they have a seminar where they call all these uh, doctors from every state to come in to, for, 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 for them for medical things. But at the end of the day, you find that the day of the match, maybe when a match commissioner is, uh, is, a, is appointed to go for a match and you have all the law, the rules are there. That uh, maybe in a game you must have, you must have like 50 police I think can come with 10 or 15 police and then the match commissioner or the people that they sent to watch the match, they are going to overlook the situation and let it go. And likewise, the ambulance, they will tell you also there is ambulance, there are, all the ambulance must be key test and you have to go and check the ambulance and the ambulance can, the car can also start, the bus can also start. All these things, you find out that maybe they are not all, all standard, but they are going to overlook it and just pick everything and let the match go on. The only thing we must do in this issue is we must try to see that if all those things that are 
split it down by LMC that if those things are not there, the match should not go on. The match commissioner should report it and then stop it, not to start overlooking it. In Europe, nobody overlooks anything. So that's why you find out that everything is contact intact. And when the game come, and when the player, of course, players dies because when they come, it's inevitable. You cannot stop it. But at least you need help. You need all those things. You can see on the day of that day, very disappointing. But at least nobody can do anything. That is the end of it. And when it happens, well, you have to look forward not to allow this thing to happen again. Okay. Uh, 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 you, you, good, good. You said you were chairman of your club. And also now uh, you are the president of the Players' Union. Uh, Apart, you, 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 you told us here that, okay, before, the, before you, are, uh, you are signed on by a club, that you go to do your medicals. When, when you become a the player of the club, how often do they, do they check you on a daily basis, on a regular, how, how regular are you the medical team? First, you, the, in, the, in Nigerian club, can you tell us whether uh, they have the team doctors, physios, and other persons who are supposed to be doing this? Do you, are, are they present when you were running a club, and even now as president of the union, what is your take, what is your observation on this particular aspect? The, the, I think the only issue here is that we have to look Deep, deep down into this to see that all those songs are qualified. Because when I was also chairman of Esitraba, we have our own chairman, we have our own doctor, and we have a physiotherapy. But all those ones, not only we, the club, can be able to assess them, we have to send them to Abuja for a seminar. The LMC will do that before the league, so that they can go in and find out if they are really an, if they are really experts in this, and they can teach them in many things, and ask the club to buy all the medical equipment that we can be able to do that. But to me, our doctors at that time and the physiotherapy, I believe they are good because we didn't have any situation like that. Maybe if we have a situation like that, then I'll find out that they are not qualified. But they bring it and all the clubs have the same. But now, if all the clubs have the same, how do we know that they are they are capable? They are of standard. They can be able to do a restoration. Maybe when a player is having a problem, they can be able to help him, breathing and so on. That is the issue. But like I'm telling you, we overlook and when it comes on paper, we are the best that we can be able to write everything written down, but come on practically, then we cannot. The union now are going to be make sure that we, the union now we are already in touch with them and we'll make sure that we are we are we, we are also involved in most of these things. Like for example, even if they call for this medical test, we want to go and find out if it's true that all these men are also qualified because it's all about players. If you talk about players, we are the one representing players. So we have to do very well not to hear from far. So people are telling us this is okay and that one is not okay. We have to go and find out that this is really it is because it all matters is about the players. So I believe even they call, even they invite the, they invited us or they didn't invite us, we are going there to look on our own. We have to make sure we find out. I think that's what the union will do. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I, I do understand that, yes. Uh, uh... The primary function of the union uh, is the welfare, is the welfare of the players. Uh, uh, there's supposed to be this collective bargaining agreement between, your, between NAV and LMC. How far have you, know, have, you know, have, have you gone with that? Is it in place now or you are still negotiating to put it in place? You see, this, this thing already, when I came on board, I'm just one year now. And when I came on board, I find that all these uh, problems that are bringing the union backward, are not fine. And I travel all the way to Holland to see bro where we are working together with them, where we are trying to be members and back on them. And they already tell us all these things have to be in place, even this uh, bargaining agreement that they had to sign and whatever. We came back and, and I find out that already, even then the former president, Ayrusadi, they already had brought all those things and they were already in talk with LMC about that. And when I came on board now, when I come on board now, the same issue, we have everything in front of them. I think very soon, we are going to make it clearly that they have to sign this uh, this agreement so that we can be able to... Because without signing that agreement, there is nothing is going to be good, and then the players also cannot be well represented. So, in other words, the, 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 document, the document is there, but it has not been signed? No, it's not. Always it's not been signed, but very soon it's going to be really in our high profile that we are going to push it hard. It's now or never. They have to sign that that agreement really otherwise be kind and otherwise at least uh, the things will not go fine again okay 
Okay, let, let's talk about, uh, uh, because right now we, we, are, we, are, we, we lost a player and we are also, we've, been, we've been losing some players. Uh, and there's supposed to be a customized uh, a pension scheme in place, which you are one of the you know, uh, uh, apostles of. How far is, are you pursuing this? Uh, the pension, uh, a customized pension uh, scheme to put in place for, you know, for, for the players in case of occurrences like this at Chinei Martins. You see, really, it's good that you do this issue now because many people in Nigeria, not even Nigeria, all over Africa, they will be watching Nigeria. What Nigeria will do if we succeeded in bringing that pension scheme in action in Nigeria here. What we did, we already been almost everywhere in Nigeria. We have been, the union have been, we have spoken with the players, and we have told them exactly what is coming on their way. It's about the pension. So we have to go from there, and we have to go more higher. We have to go back to, to Europe. To, to, to bring the, the blueprint of their pension. Even if we cannot do exactly like theirs, we are going to do how we can be able to customize the pension here in Nigeria so that at least the player's life can be saved. Because you can see how, how the players are earning a lot of money in Nigeria, both who are playing home and abroad. But at the end of their, at the end of their, their career, after five or six years, you find out that the players are down and they need help. Uh, what help when they can be able to, to 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 get a lot of money, a big salary when they are playing? So we have to do it, and we have this, and we have writing it, and we have shown the world, we have shown the players, everybody knows about it. Now we want to take it up. The authority have to take it up, and we have to start this pension scheme where we can be able to help these players. And really, really, without this pension, and like I said, all Africa are watching Nigeria. Let Nigeria lead them. The moment we lead, we started this. Not the small pension uh, can go directly to tell you not the kind of pension we do that a player will finish like with five thousand or with five million or three million. No, uh, Nigerian players they earn a lot of money. Uh, not even to talk of the players who are playing outside the country. If a player in Nigeria here, for example, is earning up to one million to seven hundred thousand, the least is five hundred four hundred. We can be able to take forty five percent of their earnings every month for that pension. And when you do that. A Nigerian player will end up nothing less with 50 to 100 million naira in 15 years because their lifespan is very small. But they can be able to save as much as they can. In one year, they can save up to 7 to 8 million naira, which is a very, very good for them. And it's a very, very welcome development, which we are trying very hard and to do. And the beneficiary of this are the government because the government, without even contributing to the player's pension, the government are still going to be taking tax from this, which is all we are going to do. So at the end of the day, God willing, Nigeria will end that their name that they call them the Grand Pay of Africa. Okay, uh, 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 TJ, I, I don't know the, what the, the relationship between your union and the, NF, the, uh, the, the, the NFA, because your, 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 your team came on board in uh, this December 2018, and then, you know, uh, 2019 is, you know, is gone and now, and they are yet to sign the collective agreement. There is no pension in place for the players. Uh, uh, what, so how, what, how often do you meet? What, are you, what do you discuss with the, uh, with the FA? Is there a timeline on when these things can be put in place? The collective agreement, the pension scheme, you know, uh, how, how soon can this thing come? Can you get these things done? Really, whenever you get a leadership, you don't have to go in fighting. When you get a leadership, you try to explain to people, you try to talk to them and show them the way that they should listen to you. But the moment you find out that when you are telling them they don't even recognize you or they don't even respect or, or they don't even think or care to do about that, then you can do whatever you can do about it. But for now, we are just trying to see that we sit on table with them, we are doing that, and we are telling them, we are giving them most of this. So this is not to our own interest. It's to the interest of the players. We are, we are voted into this, and we are representing them. So if we let things go worse, history will not forgive us. So we are going to do whatever we can at this time, talking with the authorities that are involved in this, and we are going to let them know this is what is going to happen, this is what is going to happen. And they should do that at least. But if they don't do that, I, I, I believe then, the, then it's not going to be a good relationship. Okay, uh, uh, we, just, we, want, we want to go now, but just, just for just uh, a, a few seconds. There is the case of uh, uh, Uzoma Douglas, uh, who has been owed almost about $400,000 by, uh, by the FA. Uh, are, you, are you aware of this? The man is dead now, and he has a, he has a son that, you know, that he left behind. Where, uh, your union, have you discussed this with the, uh, with the, with the uh, NFF and see if they can release this money? Briefly? You're not going to believe this. Yes, of course. I have traveled all the way to Benin myself to go and see the family. I have seen the young child left behind, a very young boy. 
I make a picture with him. I talk with the father, the grandfather of the child, and I talk with the mother as well. She was there. And I promise them that we will do all what we can, at least, to be able to talk with them so that they can be able to pay. 4000 is not money. 4000 is a small is a small thing to the SA. But at least we have written everything when I come back to Abuja. We have written everything to them. We have called them. I personally have called. I have written to them again. I have write SMS to them again. And what they told me that they know about it, that everything has been approved, but they don't have money. When the money comes, they will pay. I don't want even this to be coming all publicly because it's something that we can be able to take it privately, but at least it's coming into this way because till now we are talking of almost getting to one year when I started talking about this and they never do something about it. So when and how, I, I believe very soon we are going to take another action about that. But whatever you will do, it's better if you give a warning again. We are going to write them once again, asking for the for the right of this young child left behind, at least to pay for his school fees and whatever. We even supposed to even pay the school fees of this guy, not even asking of the of, of the, the money that the father left. We are not even talking of even helping the child. We are even helping. We are even thinking of getting the money the father has left for such a kid. What are we? We're supposed to think twice. We only don't have to be thinking of our own or our own children. No. We have others, people that play football. All of us, both the, the union and the FA and everybody that are in that chair, we are here because of the players. Because of the Without players. Without the players, we are nobody. Yes, of course. Okay. Without the players, we are nobody. So why the issue of players when it come, when it's coming up? We are not we are not concentrating and giving 100% to see that we have situation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, TJ. Uh, we we'll run out of time. We'll get back to you and see how this develops. Uh, uh, we're going to have a very short break. When we come back, Channel Spot on Sunday continues. I will call for it. All right. Uh, 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 you're welcome back. That was the interview. That is an inter uh, interview with... Uh, uh, Mr. Tijani Babangida, he is the president of uh, National Association of Nigerian Professional Footballers. And, there are, you know, the, the players go out there and play. Of course, this, some of them, you, you, the, the, the sign, we don't, we don't, most of the time, you know, they're supposed to have an agent, they, they sign a contract, and all those things sometimes are not there. Uh, the, the, the way, the, 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 way the, the football is being run, we, we looked at them that there are certain things that are not uh, in tandem with modern football. Uh, Take, for instance, a team is performing and then uh, uh, they come and tell them that we are going to, we are going to place the players on half salary, on salary and stuff. There is no way it is a contract. You know, you, are, you either sack the person and pay the person off, but you don't say more whatever, because I don't think, not that if those are supposed to be incentives, are supposed to be that if you win, I don't, I don't think the contract are on, on, on performance, uh, uh, performance based contracts. So if you are signing a contract, you are going to pay me 10 naira a month. You don't say whatever because the team lost or the team did not lose, that you are going to give me 10 naira. If the team wins, you, do you multiply my salary by two? So a lot of these things are happening. Uh, players who, have represented the country. We don't talk about the blood of you know, Osama Douglas, the late Douglas, that has been owed over, you know, over $4,000 4, by the FA. I mean, the man, the, the, the young man is dead. You know, the, he, has, he, has, he left a, you know, a, you know, a, a young boy, a young boy behind. And then they've been they're dying for years. You, have, you, have, you know, get this money. Sorry, come. You say money has been approved when the money is coming and stuff. I mean, we understand that these bonuses are there. So players will represent Nigeria. You think they have, they will go back and then you, you tell them they'll pay them $10,000 bonus, $10,000 bonus, and at the end of the day, they get nothing out of it. And then uh, uh, they, they, they have to go, go out, you are playing football, and you now go outside football to look for something, you know, that you want to use, you know, to take care of yourself and your family. Basically, I don't think, I, I, I think we, 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 we can't, as at now, the way it is, it is difficult for us to say we have a sport or a football industry that people who are in that area can say, yes, this is a career that can lift me and my family, unless maybe you're, uh, you're, you're thinking of how to leave the shores of the land to go and, to, you know, to, to go and do that. So basically, we should be looking at this, uh, at the players' union, like you said, I had to sign this really collective you know, bargaining you know, uh, uh, agreement between themselves and the FA. They're supposed to put in, in place an insurance scheme so that when things like this are happen to Martins, you know, of course, I mean, the, the, the family that he's left behind can look up to, you know, uh, to a scheme to say, yes, we have contributed to this pension scheme and we can get this thing out. So we, the earlier we do these things, uh, they're not rocket science. It is not just, you know, uh, a lot of want to do this, want to do that, want to host the world. You know, do the basic. The basics ought to be done before 
before you start thinking of other things. Uh, uh, it, it, it's a pity we are starting this, that you know, the clubs don't have, most of the clubs, we're talking about ambulances. You, you, we're, not, we're, not, we're not talking about uh, 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 ambulance to carry, to carry, to, to, to carry, to carry, to, 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 to carry coffins. We're talking about ambulance that is equipped with equipment within the, um, where you can sit down and then where you can, you can the first aid kits and that thing, where, you know, you, you, you use it. It's not, you know, what, that, the, what we are seeing there are not uh, 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 ambulance. So let us look at these things and see how we can get them done. Uh, I, I, I'm being joined by... Uh, my Jimmy, Jimmy, you're welcome to the show. Great pleasure to be here. Yeah. Um, interesting times. I think it's um, right time we got the sports industry totally overhauled. At the end of the day, we might say, yes, Martins is gone, but it, this is an opportunity for us to right the wrongs. We can do all we, we can say, all the beautiful things. We can try and uh, proselytize. But it's about action. It's about getting the authorities to do the right thing at the right time. Um, it's sad that this has got to happen. It's sad that we are reactive and not proactive. So let's look again at what we need to get done and begin to right the wrongs. Okay. Uh, uh, when this thing happened, the LMC did put in. Uh, uh, they, they, they put out um, uh, a tweet and then uh, came, came out with a mail, uh, their own uh, message to Nigerians as what happened. Uh, 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 first of all, uh, this, this, is, this is from the Nigerian Football, the Nigerian Football, uh, Nigerian Football Federation that came out with that first message that uh, the uh, LMC tweeted on their, their, their Twitter handle concerning uh, uh, the said occurrence. Uh, uh, they said uh, the, the Nigerian Football Federation, the uh, Nigerian Football Federation regrets uh, 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 the incidents in Lafia involving a player of Nasarawa. Uh, uh, United and further condole the immediate family of the late player and the football stakeholders at large. The NFF has, in conjunction with the sport ministry, engaged the LMC and reviewed the situation. As an immediate uh, uh, first step, it has directed that no further match be played except there is full uh, complement of the medical equipment and personnel as, pro as provided in the NFF uh, uh, club licensing regulations. All match commissioners uh, and the host FAs are to ensure uh, uh, they inspect all the facilities, including carrying out test runs before, going, before giving go, uh, uh, go ahead for any match to be played. Um, Probably when this thing came out, uh, it, it, uh, it, it, there was an interpretation, Jimmy, that, that, that the, the league you know, was being suspended, pending when, when all these things, when the things put put in, were put in place. Uh, uh, but then the, uh, the league management company themselves said uh, that, that, was, that is a misinterpretation, that that is not what they meant. And they came out uh, with their, saying that the, the, uh, the matches were not uh, uh, Ken, suspended. Ken, personally, I feel yeah. that is insensitive of them. Um, you have to look at what has happened and we say that they are being reactive, they are not being proactive. The minister did come out with a statement saying, yes, he will be working with the NFA, with the LMC to ensure things like this don't happen again. But the question is, as the LMC itself had a consultative forum with the stakeholders to ensure this doesn't happen again, because at the end of the day, what we are still saying is, you have not ensured that the medical equipment for all the clubs had been, you know, had been in place before going ahead with this game. Okay. Because let, let, there was too short a time yes. between what happened last week yeah. and now, now to ensure that the regulations would now be abided by. So why go ahead? Why not suspend it, even if it's for a couple of weeks, to ensure that the clubs now abide Even fully. if it does the next matches. I mean, but, you but, look at uh, the memory of Martin Chineme, you have to look at the fact that definitely this player, the family, everybody concerned, they want to have the assurance that the right things will be done. And that can only be achieved when you suspend the league for some time and right the wrongs. The okay, right let's let's because I, because like, I, we'll come back to that because it also go beyond just the play. It go, go beyond definitely the, the twenty clubs or even football. De definitely uh, 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 because it's not just football. Somebody might be running and then you, you know you you you, 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 you fall down definitely. there. So what happens? But then let's let's take this. Let's take the uh uh, uh, uh the, what the. LMC also, you know, their statement on this particular, uh, as I say, uh, MPFL matches not suspended. 
they came out and said uh, uh, match commissioners will have to enforce uh, uh, the checklist. I mean, there is a checklist that the things they are supposed to do. Uh, that is about the test run and the other two that the, the NFL brought, uh, the, uh, brought out yeah. that you have to do. It's due to the match commissioners. Probably they've not been doing this. I know there are also some sanctions that were done, some people suspended uh, exactly, and whatever yeah. it is, and then yeah. you ask the club to pay. They, I mean, they, if you have the club what? to pay, I think it's like putting the, to me, it's it's double putting, jeopardy. putting the cart before it, it, the horse. Exactly. You have not done your investigation. After that, you want to investigate. investigate. There's nothing to investigate. For you me. want to investigate. You it, find them before it, you investigate. It's the same mindset. You know, it's the same right. mindset. The, there had been committees before now. It's not the first time a Nigerian player is dying on the field, whether it be on Nigerian soil or, you know, um, outside Nigeria. But the question is, what has happened to all the recommendations of the previous committees? You form another committee now. They are going to come up with their recommendations. What exactly They've already formed another committee. But let, <laughs> let, us, let, us, let, us, let, us take, let us take this statement uh, uh, from, from the LMC. Uh, he said, uh, uh, Nigerian professional football league, you know, uh, clubs uh, uh, have, been directed, have been directed to ignore speculations. Uh, you know, in, uh, in the media, suggesting that the Nigerian Football Federation has ordered the suspension of the league. I think, I, I, like, like we said, when you say we, we, in, in, in the line, the line here, it, the line here is that you know, there's, there's, as an as an immediate first step, it has directed that no further match be played. You know, except maybe that exception is what they're talking about here. But they said, how do, that you are saying. Are, are you getting it? They, said, they are the same people that said no further match be played. So can, I don't think it's a speculation can. from the media. A communication probably, crisis. Exactly. That's so probably, what we have here. Yeah. Okay, but let, let, let's go on. Has other the suspect that, that uh, uh, ignore speculations in the media suggesting that the Nigerian Football Federation has ordered the suspension of the league. Chairman of the League Management Company uh, clarified on Tuesday that the statement by the NFF on his Twitter account was very unambiguous that match commissioners and host state football associations must ensure that all medical requirements, including uh, uh, including equipment and personnel, must be in place before starting a particular game. Um, Dico Ford uh, uh, reproduced the NFL statement, which read, the Nigerian Football Federation regrets the incidents uh, in Lafia involving a player of Nasrawa United and further condoled the immediate family of the late player and the football stakeholders at large. I mean, we're talking about a, a player. I mean, for now, I probably would have said the, the player has a name. Uh, uh, so we were saying a player. A player. I mean, uh, uh, probably you, I don't think uh, you know, it is. Yeah, I mean, you, you, it, it doesn't do look better. like uh, you're talking about a player. The player mm. has a name. A and name, yeah. involved in such a player, uh, but, that, but that, that is not the issue. He said the NFF has in conjunction with the Minister of Sports, and get themselves a review decision as immediate first step. So the thing about immediate, those are, those are what uh, all commissioners and everything should be done, and then the team. But so, based on all this, apart from that, they are saying that the matches are not cancelled, so matches will go on today. Uh, uh, so let's leave that. Let us look at those matches that, that we play today, because while matches are not being played all over the world, at least for once, might have been played in Nigeria. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, in Nigeria, our leagues, our leagues, our leagues are on. So if we can... Um, if we can look at the, uh, if we can look at the, to this uh, uh, fixtures, fixtures yeah. let's see if we can get to these fixtures on. Let's see if we can get them on and see the matches that have been played today across the country uh, uh, in our matches. Kind of players right? will be playing against Jigawa Golden Stars. Um, Rivers United will be playing away at Enugu Rangers International. Abia Warriors will be hosting Adamawa United. Warriors will be squaring up against MFM. Enyimba will be hosting Sunshine Stars. Okay, why? Uh, 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 so let's go to Edo State and hear uh, uh, what is happening. All the teams that will be coming to Edo State, we have to go through proper screening at this entry point. We'll be having 15 entry points to the city and we will be monitoring all states as they come into the state. This 15 point is where we are going to receive them and we are going to screen them before they, are, they now have access to the city and before they can have access even for, to the uh, Gaines village where they will be accommodated. Okay, uh, that's why he's saying there are 15 points. Uh, they are going to, t everybody as they're entering through, you know, those 15 points that they've entered into Benin City, uh, uh, they, will be, they will be tested uh, uh, before they are allowed to go in there and then proceed to the game's village. So if there is any uh, uh, temperature, high <laughs> temperature or whatever, uh, the fear of COVID-19 uh, is the beginning of wisdom. Uh, but before, before we look at, you know, the list of... Um, 
the list of events that have been affected so far. I, I, I want us to also, let us try and see, let us go to, let's list in, let's just see if we can list the, uh, the Prime Minister of Japan, uh, Shinzo Abe, who is saying that, you know, that he's not looking at the cancellation of this. He's not looking at the cancellation of, uh, of the uh, uh, Olympic Games. Uh, even when in Europe, they're already saying, please, can we even ship Euro 2020 by a year? Take it to 2021. Let's, 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 let's listen to him. That uh, uh, he's not, he's, you know, he's certain that the Olympic Games uh, uh, will go on, will go on, uh, uh, irrespective of what uh, people are saying concerning um, this particular pandemic, which the, 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 the uh, World Health Organization says it is a pandemic, you know. So uh, it is not what we are thinking now, but probably he knows what we don't know. Uh, uh, we remember that uh, a few, two weeks, is it two weeks, two weeks ago, uh, uh, the, uh, the Japanese marathon yeah. itself, uh, which was supposed to be for over oh, 30,000, yeah. over yeah. 300,000 who were supposed to participate, just the elite, about yeah, 200 exactly. uh, athletes took part. You know, in Japan, and then you remember that is also one of those uh, is the Grand Princess. You know, the, those the cruise, cruise ships. Again. You understand? You know, uh, also there. I don't know what has gone to the princess and all the cruise ships has to do with coronavirus. Because another one <laughs> that is also there in the, in California. Okay, uh, so let's let's look at a lot of quarantining is being done. People have been uh, take there, but for now let's look at the casualties so far, or let's look at those who have been affected. Because, uh, like we said, from all the, the all the sports, from football uh, to all major events have been affected. So let's let's start because in football, uh, like we said, the Chinese Super League is off. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Japanese J League, J -League the South, South Korean, Korean K League, K -League yeah. are off. Uh, uh, Serie La Liga, La Liga. Ligon, Bundesliga, EPL all suspended till April at the latest. Um, Champions League and Europa League fixtures postponed. Euro 2020 may be this shifted for a year to 2021. All international matches are also cancelled by FIFA till, till May. May. <laughs> in Africa, Morocco and Dira Congo have also cancelled their league matches till further notice. I so think that, Egypt that, also have. Yeah, that, that, is, that is football. Egypt, okay, Egypt, Egypt has also was, joined. I think, I, think okay, so. I think the first occurrence in Africa was in Egypt. Uh, Egypt yeah, okay, two cases. So, okay, uh, that, that is, that is football for you. Yeah. So you can imagine uh, football uh, 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 in Europe is uh, total a, lockdown. Total lockdown. It's on. It's on lockdown and other sports too. But let's 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 look at uh, basketball. Uh, let's look at basketball. The NBA and the w WNBA postponed indefinitely. March madness. madness. I tell you, March wow. madness cancelled. That, wow. that is that is basketball wow. at the grassroots level. Uh, level. You know, with you know, uh, one of the uh, biggest the sporting what? events the world over. One of the and, the, and then uh, the, 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 the the budget, the budget, the, 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 the commercial, commercial exposition that comes into yeah, it is, is, is something. Also for Formula One, yes. uh, the Chinese, Australia, Bahrain, and Vietnamese um, Grand Prix all postponed. The Dutch Grand Prix and Spanish Grand Prix scheduled for May three and. 10th of May, respectively, are also not a certainty. Immediately, the McLaren, uh, one of the uh, crew, the McLaren crew, uh, tested positive for COVID-19. Um, it was obvious that they were going to call off Australian Grand Prix, and therefore, the ripple effect was always going to come in place. Okay, in tennis, tennis Miami Open, Miami Open uh, Monte Carlo Masters, uh, and Barcelona, and Barcelona Open, Open, all canceled. All canceled. Yeah, in fact, there are almost six, you know. Uh, Serena uh, says she's going to take off, um, you know, six weeks off. So oh, everybody's going out six Everybody. weeks. <laughs> All right, athletics. Look at, look at, look at it. Okay. London Marathon postponed from 26th of April to 4th of October. Boston Marathon from 28th April to 14th September. The Manchester Man Marathon from 5th of April to October. And Paris Marathon postponed from 5th April to October 18th. So, golf. For the first time since 1945, yes. the Masters at Augusta, uh, where they wear the green jacket, will not take place in that the second That is where, week. you know, uh, Tiger Woods got <laughs> Tiger Woods. his 15th. Wow. You know, all right. Wow. So, so the, 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 these are for now, uh, uh, what has happened. We, we, we actually want to go on again on a very short break. And when we come back, we shall open the lines. Probably we'll take one or two calls before the end of the show. You stay with us. Okay, you welcome back. It is the channel spot on Sunday, and uh, uh, um, <laughs> it is still the Corona, Corona, COVID, the COVID scourge. Uh, uh, if we can, if we can use that word to describe how its effect is ramp, it, it, it's just rampaging, you know, rampaging, you know, if, if, wherever you can think of. But let's see, uh, uh, some players and managers who have already been affected by this COVID nineteen. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's look at because it, the list. We, we, it, it is we are just taking a, a, you know, some of the list, not all, as we speak now. Uh, at Chelsea, 
Uh, we have a Kalomo Osnodoy, but he said, I am, he said, I've, I am I've now. Recovered, yeah. I've recovered. Fully recovered. Okay. Uh, Arsenal, uh, the, uh, Arsenal. I think this is not, not the most notable of yeah, all. Uh, 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 Arsenal, Arsenal uh, manager, Mikel Atete. And it's the, uh, the entire Arsenal the, the squad, entire squad you know, have to be you know, uh, uh, quarantined. You know, at least a minimum of seven days, 14 days to go. Uh, the, the Olympiacos, that the, is the, the guy that, owner. you know, actually, uh, uh, Ateta, probably the, the, maybe they embraced. <laughs> you know, yeah, uh, Ateta, we probably embraced. Yeah. Uh, he's the owner of Olympiacos. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Evangelos uh, uh, Marinakis. Yes, Evangelos I mean, you know, uh, Marinakis. And then he is also uh, one of the high profile uh, uh, people who have been affected by this. Then, uh, you know, uh, uh, the goalkeeper uh, uh, for Bournemouth. They, they have that goalkeeper, uh, you know, at a borish, at a borish, you know, and. Five, five member, members, five, five staff members, in you, know, self -isolation. You, know, you know, they're all in self-isolation. Mm. And then in, yeah, we, we, in Italy, yeah. we have a, a, a Daniel Rugani yeah. uh, from UV, from UV, he's affected. And then Sampdoria, that is, I mean, you can imagine how many, how many people are infected. Manolo uh, Agabiadini, which is, I mean, had the first... Uh, Abenegda, Fabio De Paoli, yeah. Antonio, Antonio Lagumena, yes. Bartosz Beresinski, Amante Shosby. Amante Shosby. So these, these guys are all been affected. So you can imagine why... Uh, uh, Juventus are on quarantine. I mean, uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo said, I will do my quarantine. In my <laughs> and I think the most notable Portugal. thing is the fact okay, that, that he is, even that converted, is, yeah. he converted his yeah, that hotel. Is, that is Odoi. That is Odoi there. Yeah. Thank you for all your good wishes. As I said in the video, I'm feeling good and hope to see you all soon. So he's good. He's good. That's Cristiano Ronaldo. The world is going through a very difficult moment, which demands the utmost care and attention from all of us. I speak to you today not as a football player, but as a son, father, a human being concerned with the latest development that is affecting the whole world. So this is beyond this is beyond football, and that is Gianni. Gianni Adetokumbo. It is it's bigger than basketball. And during this tough time, I want to help the people that make my life, my family's lives, and my teammates' lives easier. Me and my family pledge to donate hundred thousand dollars to the FISEV forum staff. We can get through this together. We can't get through this together. The king himself, LeBron, LeBron James. James. Men, we can't support events, school, office work, etc., etc. What we really need to cancel is 2020. 2020. <laughs> Damn, it's been a rough three months. God bless and stay safe. LeBron James said we should cancel 2020. Wow. Just cancel the year. I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> Interesting. You, know, you just cancel the year. Interesting. Well, okay, we want to take, we want to take, we, we are, we'll just take some, some few calls. Uh, uh, so the, the, the lines will be open for you to be part of the show. Uh, what should we be doing at uh, COVID-19? Um, what should the FA be doing concerning uh, our players? You know, uh, some are late, and yet uh, we are even some, some coaches that served and died, and it is after their death before somebody's okay, they are still owing them. You owe them till death. I, 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 I think it's, it's not, it doesn't tell well. Uh, uh, they, what, what are the, do we put insurance schemes in place mm. so that whatever happens, you know, because it's for unforeseen, I mean, that is, that is what you do. You are, you, are put, you are putting it there. It's not as if money you love to pay, you put it there just in case something happens on behalf of the players what insurance schemes do we have and then liaising with the players union how do we go about it and then uh, uh, the vice chairman of West Ham just said let's just declare the EPL null and void <laughs> Liverpool after waiting 30 years and with two matches to go somebody mm. said declared null no, and no, void but I mean it might be a possibility because if you give them two weeks and they come back and then this thing don't take on what do you do let's go to Jaws and then who do we have hello Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Well done. Um, presenter, it's a great um, watching you this great Sunday. Thank and, you. Um, you're always smiling. In fact, whenever I'm back from church, I just want to watch your program because of your the way you present your program. <laughs> Thank Kudos you. Kudos to you and the person um, in the studio. Yeah, Jim. Um, just a little contribution. And uh, what I'll just say is that the not just the world of sport, the world in general needs um, prayers, and uh, he needs the Almighty God's intervention. Because if you could see what is going on uh, from the trade war from U.S. and China, and also um, the oil problem, and also the, uh, ter the terrorism and insurgency that is going on, even if the coronavirus had not affected um, this sport, the insurgency and the threat of um, 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 security issues, breaches here and there, the whole world. It might also breach in. And yeah. so my contribution is this. What we should be mindful now, in as much as we are trying to, you know, um, um, 
place is huge to avoid and to solve this um, coronavirus issue. We should always think ahead also to look at some of the epidemics that can come in. It might not come as a viral disease. You know, if the world doesn't have peace, there will be no spot. Exactly. So, in as much as we are also trying to curtail this um, coronavirus issue, by the grace of God, once this thing goes off, let us look at the other things that is causing problems in the world, in the like world. the security, the, the security that is um, ravaging now. There's no peace anywhere. Big threat everywhere. Before, in as before, you want to go to the spot, nothing like a civil camera to check people. You can just come in, go to the stadium, watch, hug your enemy, and go, and back. go back. But now you can see security will be placed on everywhere at last because of fear of terrorism. So for sports to do well, after this coronavirus threat, let us just try to also avoid other issues that will cause problems in the next future. Thank mm. you and kudos to you all. Thank you, my Thank guy. You. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think he said it all. Yeah. It has to be do with um, being innovative. Uh, I mean, sport has got to become very dynamic. Nobody was prepared for this. We didn't prepare for the scourge. Now we are having to come. Yeah, the, the, we are the having scourge, to contend with the, it. The scourge did not come through sports. <laughs> it didn't come through sports. <laughs> but we are now having to it contend didn't come with it. Sports. So what he said basically is sports has got to become dynamic. It's got to become innovative because we now have a precedent. For example, you are talking about what will happen if, for example, the season goes on like this. Yeah, and should, we, should, we, should, should we cancel are we canceling? it? Are we, there was we, no precedent we, for this. Yes, should, should it be declared should null be de and void? Exactly. Because so, one, I, one of the, I'm sorry before you take yeah. this up there, because one, you said, come back, you give them two weeks, it's two weeks, three weeks, three weeks, and come back. You, you finish the whole of March and let's go in April. Exactly. If April, if the squad is still there, what the, do you what do? What do you do? And then you know uh, the season is supposed to end in May. In May. And then some proper contract will end in June. June. Yeah. And then so if you say declare, declare somebody a winner, who are you going to relegate? Already, yeah. I think the, trans the transfer window yeah. for next season is it's being affected. affected. Already, it's been affected. So do, should, now, wait, do lots they, of money. So what happens? Should they declare Liverpool winner? Should they declare Barcelona winner? Should they? I mean, at what point? Ken, uh, uh, Ken the, the MPFL. We declare lobby stars. All right, let's <laughs> let's, let's go to Benway. Uh, 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 hello, Sunday. Hello, Sunday. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Yeah, fine, thank you. I yeah. yeah. Go on. That's the situation. Yeah. Yeah. The incident is so pathetic. Yeah, but I just want to wish those who are uh, affected with uh, COVID-19, the food recovery. I, I know there's a solution to it. It was to be the full meaning of the COVID. Press over infection, so press over viral infection again. So as many as I with this, it gets recovered. Trust me. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We didn't quite pick up what uh, but yeah. probably the volume. The volume was not that much. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, plus, when you do call again, I try to raise. You know the, uh, uh, the the is it a decibel? What do you call it? Decibels of sound. Okay, so they have to make sure to make sure these you know yeah. uh, uh, the sound. So probably we you know we get to hear you uh, uh, clearer. Uh, uh, let's Leave come up. back. Let's co let's come back home because I know when we did the intro, yeah. uh, 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 the kids cop like we say for Lagos it closes on April April the 13th. That is entry. You just go to channelstv.com. You click you know and then look for kids cop. Click on it, the form will be there. You download, you fill. Uh, it, it is not rocket science. Every school enters, every primary school, primary, mm. primary school mm. entered. Now, when you're no in primary scenarios. school, your school is eligible <laughs> to come in. But then, we, you know, in that primary school, you must be below the age of 13. If you are above the age of 13, you can still be in school low, but you'll be eligible to participate in the competition. So you have to be in primary school and you have to be under the age of 13. Okay, so what if the kid is very tall, six feet? Height, height has nothing to do with it. Very I mean, that is why, you know, uh, uh, it may, maybe in, in other sports, you know, normally they take weight. Yeah. In football, they take age. Age, yeah. Because, you know, uh, your, your experience matters. That is why they say the more matured you are, yeah. you know, probably you can understand. That is age and, you know, uh, talent and then experience. You understand? True so you, you are more experienced. That's why they say play within your age group. Definitely. You know, you have that age group thing. So when, by the time you are now above 18, 19, 21, nobody restricts you. You can go and do whatever you want Definitely. to do. But for now, for you to be take part, please, is, is, this is quite easy. 
schools you can you enter. It's easy, you see, sure. don't tell me uh, uh, this child because there is no child born between now that doesn't have that is not doesn't have your birth certificate. It's so there is a place for you to upload your birth certificate. If you don't have, don't don't, don't bother. <laughs> we are saying this zero tolerance to age cheat. That yeah. is that is that is how that is what we do here, and we try as much as possible. Uh, I would not want to say want to disqualify this, want to disqualify that. Bring in when they don't go and bring in affidavit. You will know. I mean, we are just talking about these few years that you were born. Few years, yeah. So uh, in, in the past 10, 20 years. Everybody must, you know, should have, you know, should have. We are born in Lagos or outside Lagos. Of course, outside Lagos, probably. We yeah. don't know. But at this point, okay, uh, okay. The call, we have a uh, Michael. Mike, you are calling from Lagos. Hello, Hello Mike. Hello. How, how are you, Mike? I'm good. I'm good, boss. How's everything? Well, okay. We are okay. Okay. Are you I want to. Where are you calling from in Lagos? Here, yeah? where? Nigerian League. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. I don't know if. We can try and tell them that the fans that are always fighting is the way they should control it. <laughs> okay. I, have you been to a Have you been to a match venue? You know, uh, recently. Yes, or yes, I've been to. Okay. Go on. Which of the matches? Oh, Mike, do call back. Uh, uh, of course, there has to be um, violence free. Uh, I will support you 100% in that. It cannot be but then, well, let, let, yeah, when we, Probably we have you know, the specific yeah. you know, matches that you watch where this, uh, of course, we know things happen somewhere, uh, but they were not, you know... Uh, in, which we, we key are recent. Yeah. Um, and I think they also had um, some form of punishment meted them. But I think that um, it cannot be overemphasized. We have to continue saying it as much as possible. The fan engagement thing. The fan has engagement. Got, it, has to, it has to come has in. To come in. But, then, but, but we are faced with this issue of, you know, uh, uh, medicals. We are faced with a lot of issues of, you know, of officiating has improved for now for the league. Definitely. The, uh, he just talked about violence. violence. Mike just talked about violence. But then we're talking about the medicals. And then, uh, uh, like we said, there is not just football because now because I'm talking about football, football here. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 when when we when when we if you come in during the kids' cup competition, competition yeah. you will find out that the ambulance are placed. When you say Definitely. ambulance, we are not talking about oh, cars that are just go there to go and carry things. We're talking about an ambulance that has you know, medical personnel that has drugs that has first aid kits that has everything because you need to that is the primary before but, you take. But Ken, yes, it's because channels has got a structure. And definitely every member of the team will nat naturally abide. The question is, do these clubs have all these things in place? Even if they Jimmy, do have them in Jimmy, place. Jimmy, they are playing a match in a stadium. Are you saying a stadium does not have, a, if someone can have that is one what, or two or three or four and ambulances? And that is what we saw at Lafia. Okay. Did you see the car? Uh, that's what I'm saying. All it's right. so unfortunate, but we, okay, we can only hope this, we have, we have, we have, we have to this opportunity yeah. to get things, the wrongs righted is not, you know, misplaced. Okay. All right, we just have to get it done, uh, and we pray uh, uh, that uh, uh, for the for the incident at Amuwa Dofi, that you know we should, uh, the rescue uh, uh, operation should you know be you know uh, go over there and get it done fast and see how you know we can minimize casualties. I'm Ken Ochenogo. Have a blessed Sunday. Mm.